Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure PostgreSQL 16.3 on Rocky Linux 9. Then we will see how to install pgadmin on Rocky Linux. Then we will connect PostgreSQL from the pgadmin. Click on activities, then open any browser. Go to PostgreSQL official website that is PostgreSQL.org. Hit enter. See, PostgreSQL 17 is the beta version. So we can't use it. So click on download, select Linux, select Red Hat, Rocky or Alma Linux. Click on this button. See, PostgreSQL M's repository currently supports on RHL, Rocky Linux, Alma Linux, CentOS, Oracle Linux and Fedora. So select version 16. See, we have the versions from 12 to 16. Select the latest one, then select the platform. Select the last one that is RHL, Rocky, Alma Linux, Oracle Linux 9. If you want to install on Rocky Linux 8, you have to select this one, okay? Then select the architecture, okay? So, see, these are the list of the commands that needs to be run to install the PostgreSQL 16.3 on Rocky Linux. Copy it, open terminal, paste it, hit enter. Then provide the password of sudo user. It is done. Now, disable the built-in PostgreSQL modules, if any are there. So, Hit enter. Now install process equal 16. Copy this one. Control L to clear screen. Paste it. See. If it is 16, it will install 15. If we give 15, it will install the version number 15. If you give the 14, it will install the 14. So give the 16 and hit enter. No need to provide any confirmation. See, it is going to install process equal server 16.3. See, we have successfully installed process equal 16.3 on Rack Linux 9. Control L to clear screen. Next commands are C. We have to run this command to initialize the database. Paste it, hit enter. It is done. Now next uh, next is we have to enable the PostgreSQL service. Before that verify the PostgreSQL service is enabled or not. sudo systemctl status PostgreSQL-16. See PostgreSQL service is disabled and it is not started. Okay. So, to quit, now first enable it by running the command sudo systemctl enable PostgreSQL 16. If it is disabled, whenever Rocky Linux or any Linux machine restarted, we have to manually start the PostgreSQL service. For that purpose, we are enabling. Okay. Hit enter. It is done. Now start the PostgreSQL service. Before that, verify the status. See, we have enabled the PostgreSQL service before it was disabled. Q to quit, control L to clear screen. Give the same command instead of enable, just give the start. Hit enter, it is done. Now verify the status. See, PostgreSQL service is running and it, it is started two seconds ago. Q to kit. Now let us connect to PostgreSQL server sudo su hyphen postgres psql. See, this is psql version, not the PostgreSQL version. To verify the PostgreSQL version, that is PostgreSQL server version. Give the select version and hit enter. See, we have installed PostgreSQL 16.3. Okay, control it to clear screen. The first step after connecting to PostgreSQL server is we have to set the password for Postgres user. Verify list of the users. See, we have only one user that is a Postgres which is super user and it has all the privileges. So, for this user, we have to set the password. Command is alter user Postgres with password in quotations. Give the password. Close. See, only this is the password, okay? Not the quotations. Hit enter. We have successfully set the password. Let us verify the default databases comes with PostgreSQL installation. See, we have these three databases comes with PostgreSQL installation. Let us create a database. Create database after scores. See, we have successfully created database. Let us verify again backslash L. See, new database after schools is added. And this is the one and these are the default settings. Okay, let us create 
tables in this RT schools database. So to create tables in that database, we have to switch to RT schools database by using backslash CR backslash connect. Then we have to provide the database name and hit enter. See, you are, con you are now connected to our database RT schools as user postgres control l to clear let's create table in this database create table we have successfully created let us verify the list of the tables see we have the table student and this is the owner this is the schema name. If you want to verify list of the schemas, give the slash dn. See, we have only one schema that is public schema. Let us insert some data into this table. Insert into student values. Insert one more row. Let us insert one more. I'm not going to change the S number. It will throw error. See, duplicate key value while it's in a constant. See, here we have defined this column as primary key. So it won't allow the duplicate. So we have to give number other than the existing one. So I'm giving one not two. Hit enter, it is success. Now let us verify the data in this table. See, we have three rows in this student table. Okay, control L to clear screen. Now Verify the list of the users. Backslash du. See, we have only one user. So let us create a user. Create user James with password here. See, I forgot to give with password. See, we have successfully created. Let us verify. See, new user James is added. Now we will see how to find the config files location. So config underscore file. See, this is the PostgreSQL server configuration file. It contains all the parameters related to PostgreSQL 16.3. If you want to find the HBA conf file, that is host-based authentication file, you have to give show con HBA underscore file. See, this is the host-based authentication file location. Okay. Now, if you want to see the data directory, data show data underscore directory. See, this is the data directory where actual data the process equal is stored if you want to see the log location same show log direct see this is a log direct if you want to quit from this process equal you the q and hit enter exit now if you want to stop process equal you have to give pseudo system ctl stop process equal hyphen 16 now verify the status See, PostgreSQL service is stopped. Go to quit. Let us start it again by running the same start. Now verify. See, PostgreSQL service is started two seconds ago. Go to quit. Now, if you want to restart, just replace the start with restart. We have successfully restarted. See, PostgreSQL service is restarted. Control it to clear screen. Now we will see how to download and install PG Admin on Rocky Linux. Open new tab. Go to pgadmin.org. See here, pgadmin is the most popular feature which open source administration and development platform for PostgreSQL, the most advanced open source database in the world. Click on download or click on download. Both are same. Click on download. Select RPM for the Rocky Linux. See, we have to run these commands one by one. So for Alma Linux, Rocky Linux, or Red Hat, we have to run these commands. Copy this one. Go to terminal paste it hit enter next we see here we have two types of modes one desktop mode and web mode so to install both the modes we have to run this command to install desktop mode we have to run only this command to install web mode we have to run only this command so i want to install both the modes copy this one copy paste it hit enter type y and hit enter type y and hit enter
टाइप पे एंड हिट एंटर See, we have successfully installed PG Admin 4. Click on Activities, then click on Show Applications. See here, we have the PG Admin 4. Click on it. This is the desktop mode. See, while opening, we have to run to connect to web mode. We have to run this command. Copy this one. Go to Terminal, paste it, hit Enter. Provide any email. This is required to connect to PostgreSQL from the web mode. Remember this password. Okay, all done. Now, see, this is the desktop mode. Click on add new server or right click and register, then select server. Then here, provide any name. I am giving Rocky PG16. Then click on connection. Here, we have to provide host name or IP address. Okay. I am giving localhost because it is installed on my localhost port number 5432 main name same username also same provide the password of this user which we have reset at the time of configuration click on save see we have successfully connected see here we expand databases we see we have the new database okay let me maximize this one if you want to create a database right click on it query tool then you can run the queries here create database test select it and execute see new database is created if you right click on databases refresh see one more database is added even if you go to terminal if you connect to postgresql you can find that psql slash l see we have the new database test okay the next method is connect to the web mode so open it if you go to the terminal see here it is saying you can use this one or copy it paste it hit enter or else you can paste it and here you can replace with localhost or mission of ipf the host but all three are same now provide the mail see the mail which we have given at the time of executing the script password then click on login don't save here also save we have to click on add new server or right click and register and server options are same okay so in this video we have seen how to install and configure postgres 16.3 on rhl Rocky linux 9.4 for more postgres equal or Rocky linux videos please subscribe my channel thank you